Hey everyone, welcome back to some Dragon Quest IV Chapters of the Chosen. We still find ourselves in Chapter 6, which uh, I don't... Does that even have a title? Because all the other chapters had a title. I, I'm not sure what this one is. But anyway, last time we entered a very peculiar dungeon that uh, has had some interesting aspects to it. Uh, a lot of enemies, but also just some weird, trippy... Uh, like, Alice, I, the only thing I can compare it to is Alice in Wonderland when we saw the huge house that we were tiny inside, which had, like, staircases, and then there was se there seemed to be some looping going on, but then there was a secret cave, and anyway, we found a church, which I have saved at, which should, according to the comments, add this to my Zoom list. Uh, so we're gonna quickly check this before we crack on. Ah, yes, Pinnacle Chapel, okay. Cool, so now, if we do want to leave, say this place gets a little bit too tough for us, we can, uh, we can, you know, resume from where we last left off, which is very good. Uh, also, you remember there was a chest that I couldn't seem to figure out a way to get to? Well, I still don't know how to get to it, but uh, a few people have said in the comments that there was an invisible path across the water, which I don't know how you would ever think to try that because invisible paths in this game so far haven't been a thing, have they? I don't know, but we're gonna quickly run back. Also, yeah, there's this dude. This, you see what I mean? This place is weird. I don't understand why there's people just wandering around when there's a bunch of monsters down this deep, dark hole. We've, we've passed through what looked like hell, you know, full full on lava trip and everything, and then there's just random like countryside and people and poison pools and I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, so I think this is um, this is the room. Yeah, there's like a there's like a chest up there that I really don't know how to get to, but apparently there's a secret path on the water somewhere. Now, God knows where it is. Also, I'm not even sure how that would even help me get to that chest up there anyway, because I've got this one. That chest we found a way to. God damn, more Cerberus. Yeah, there's, there's so many enemies. And I really wish they would let me just run away. Like, there's only two of you. I mean, I know you've got four heads, but... Dude. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know where this secret passage across the water is. And how that would even help me anyway. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. I could just be not seeing it, but... Oh, please, just let me run, guys. I'm, I'm sick of fighting these things over and over and over and over and over. And they do good damage, too, which is even more insulting. Um... I, you know what I should have done? I should have actually looked up at least what that item is. Because I'm, if I'm going to go through all this effort to get to it... Like, I have no, I have no clue. We just don't have a clue, my friends. Uh... Because we... We definitely... I mean, we've got that chest, so I... I don't know. I might just leave it. I might just leave it. It seems more trouble than it's worth. Maybe let me know if the item is super good, guys, but I have no idea how to get to that. Not a Scooby-Doo. <clears throat> so, anyway. Let's uh, crack on with... Where I'm supposed to be going, I assume. That is a dead end. Also, uh, if you hear random birds chirping and twittering, that's because I have my window open. It is hot as balls in my room. Uh, spring has arrived with a vengeance. I mean, it shouldn't be this warm, surely. I don't even know what temperature it is, honestly. But with my room being south-facing, uh, the... the uh, the the <laughs> oh boy, yeah, it gets all the sun. It gets all the sun. Right, is this the right way? Okay. Oh, I see a shiny. Another mini medal. Right. Well, you know what we could do. Oh, how many mini medals do we have? I really don't know how many we have, and I can't remember how to find out. I really don't. Was it... Attributes? 
And then, ah, yes, go over to the carriage. Right, so we've got 57. We need three more. We need three more, and then we can uh, we can return and get our final mini medal reward. I wonder if we're going to get it. I wonder if we're going to do it before the end of the game. No clue whose graves those are. Because, again, I still don't really know what the hell this place actually is. Oh, hello, jugular. <laughs> Juggling those eyeballs. Go for the jugular. I love that thing. And we got more Princes of Darkness, which we've seen before. The jugular. Oh, dude. I'm telling you, the enemy designs in this dungeon in particular have been quite, quite excellent. So, um, I'm actually going to try and take out these guys first, because don't they have... Do these guys know whack? I forget if they do. But we're going to try and take them out first. Also, I might end up cha uh, changing Elena's weapon. Because if some people have said, at this point, more damage might be a better thing. As opposed to just hoping to get crits. Because we can still get crits with just one hit weapon. And we might do more damage that way as well. So, I think I might equip those gloves or uh, claws we found for last time. But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, let's go for a Kaboom. And Thwack really probably isn't going to do anything, but I will uh, try it anyway. Although, oh, they're not in groups, are they? So let's try whacking the jugular dude. Oh, and I say that and she gets a crit. Awesome. And yeah, that didn't actually do anything, Kaboom. What are you doing? Why, why are you failing so much? Uh, anyway, uh, right, so take him out. Yeah, I think I am going to change Elena's weapon. Well, I reckon that's probably a good idea. Uh, do you guys want to hear the, the latest crazy mage dream? Damn, she she is getting a lot of crits. Uh, my, my latest crazy... Oh, hang on a second before we do this. Level? Elena, level 43. Yes. Yes. And uh, her look has just shot up. Yeah, she's not getting as much strength or agility these days, but that's okay, because she's got a butt ton anyway. Great. Hey, we finally got another level. Okay. Um, so, yeah, my, my latest crazy mage dream. Oh, shit. Why, why, why have you got to give me multiple staircases, guys? I don't know which one to bloody go up now, do I? Uh, anyway, oh yeah, quickly uh, change Elena's equipment. So, my dream. <laughs> my dream. I dreamt that I... I think I dreamt that I was in a dream. You know, like kind of like a lucid dream, but I don't think I was ever fully aware that it was a dream. I kind of suspected it was. But I in it, I was with Ryan Reynolds, right? You know? You know Ryan Reynolds. He's he's pretty popular these days. Um, he he and I were uh, were going on a trip. We found a Harrier jump jet, and we decided that we would fly to Antarctica. I I don't know why. I don't know why. But we we got there. We decided it was boring because you know it's just a load of fucking ice. And then we decided. <clears throat> no, don't use it. Don't use it as a tool. I want to transfer it. Uh, we decided that we would go get a McDonald's because we were hungry. I think I think I know where that's coming from, though, is because I haven't had <laughs> my beloved hash browns from McDonald's in so so long due to this quarantine. So I I know where that was coming from. And then the dream ended. We were having McDonald's, and you know that was that. So yeah. Yeah, interesting, interesting dream. It was really fun, actually. It was cool. Cool as fuck. Uh, flying that Harry jump jet, like, at the speed of fucking sound. Uh, equip it, yes. But it was weird, because I wasn't... My viewpoint in the Harrier was not first person. It was actually like I was playing a video game, like GTA, for example. It was third person outside the Harrier, but I was in it. I, I don't know. Anyway, should we go up those stairs? Should we... Or should we go up the northern ones first? I don't know. I don't know. I hate choices. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, sod off. Freaking divs. Leave me be. You stop attacking so much. 
do, 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 do. Oh, come on! Just let me go. Let my people go. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Who's that? And also, oh my god, this this dungeon is insane. There are so many, so many ways to go. We've got an ultimate key door there we can open. We've got the stairs. We're going to have to backtrack to the other stairs to see what's there, though. What is... Who is this elf? Well, she's an elf. We know that much. Nothing in those barrels. Hello. The Yggdrasil tree just near here only blossoms once in a thousand years. Its flowers are like the elixir of life. If you uh, offered one at a grave, a miracle would be sure to happen. Yeah, but they don't bloom for a thousand years! So, I mean, are we going to be lucky? They're probably going to bloom, aren't they? Oh! A demon spear! Oh, I remember those quite fondly. I don't remember if that was a cursed item in uh, Dragon Quest VIII. I seem to remember it being in. Also, it's probably in eleven too. Um, it's probably in all of the Dragon Quest games, but I've, I've not played them all, so... Is that... I mean, that would be good for... Mina? Doesn't Mina use spears, I think? If aimed well, this spear can inflict a critical hit. Yeah, so so can most weapons. That's not unique to this weapon! Oh. Oh, it's probably got a higher crit rate, I guess. Also, thank you for telling me what the elevating shoes do. They do give you one XP point per step, which is absolutely bollocks. I was so excited about these items when I got them, and apparently they are complete trash. Because uh, as well, you, you can't just like run around town and get XP, oh no. They have to be, they only work when you're in an area with monsters, which really is makes them kind of like the worst items in the game. I'm going to be honest, they sound terrible. Who uses those? Does any Has anyone in the history of this game ever used them? I... I really don't know. Okay, so no no one in our party can wear them. Uh, can use that spear, I mean, so... We'll forget that for now. What the hell... is going on down here? Oh, hello! I really love cooking! But nobody would eat my food! It feels so lifeless and sad! <clears throat> it's because you're right down in the middle of fucking nowhere. Next to a big pot of horse shit. That can't be sanitary. If you're cooking near that big old pot of shit, I'm not surprised no one wants you cooking. Who's this? The Tiger Graham seems to be asleep. Well, good, he can stay that way. And some boxer shorts. Fucking woo. That reminds me, I need to do some laundry. Anyway. Hey, Mr. Slime. I hope Rose is alright. <laughs> Eamon sent out an order for, to his goons to tell the goomans where she was. Goonas, I wasn't su supposed to tell you that. You didn't hear one slimy little thing, okay? Uh, sure. Sure. Also, how do I get to those stairs? And thankfully, there doesn't seem to be any monsters in this area, which is bloody good. Oh, there's too many staircases in this freaking place. How the bloody hell am I supposed to choose where to go? I've seen, like, five staircases or some shit. <laughs> it's like a Pokemon dungeon. This, this is straight up Victory Road. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh. Um. You know what I might do? I think we'll come back here. I want to see where that, that other staircase would, would lead. <laughs> oh, it's so warm. It is so warm. I've got my window open, like I said, but it's there's no real breeze. There was a breeze yesterday, and it was really nice, but it uh, seems to be very still. Okay, a singular jugular. Don't mind taking you on. That's fine. Dun, 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 dun. And as you can see, Elena just did a lot more damage. With a physical hit, at least. Well, one hit. So if she gets a crit, I'm hoping it'll be a big, juicy number. Oh, right, I see, I see. Ah, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. What do we have? Ooh, an angel leotard. That sounds like it might be pretty decent. What does it do? Reduces damage from fire and ice-based magic attacks. Well, good. 
Do I want to give it to... Oh, damn. It is better. It's not much better. But it's probably going to replace the magical skirt. Or maybe the flowing... Ooh. Who do I give it to? I mean... Maya has the least amount of defense. I think I'm... I think I'm going to give her that. And the flowing dress, what does that do again? I can't remember. Um... Oh, she has two of them. Damn. Okay, well, yeah, let's just replace that one. Put that angel leotard on, Maya, please. Thank you. I'm sure you're going to look stunning. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad we went back that way. Very, very glad. Because otherwise I totally would have missed that. Uh, so now we only have, like, two staircases to, to check out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Tum, 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 tum. Yeah, someone actually in the comments as well said, could I try maybe the falcon sword and the falcon earrings? But the falcon earrings are a weapon as well. They're not an accessory, so we wouldn't be able to get like four hits, I don't think. Which is a shame, because that would be epic as fuck. But... Not, not a thing, I don't think. Also, I've gone the wrong way. Wait a minute. Oh, hang on. Is that? No, wait. Oh, hang on, I think... Oh, uh, I think I just went... I got here from a different staircase, which is the one that I was thinking of checking out anyway. Which just leads to where I've just been. Okay, 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 so really we only have one way to go, I think. This place is confusing the fuck out of me, I gotta say. I gotta say. Right. It's gonna move on. How do I get to that chest? Not a clue right now. Oh my lord. Periwinkles and a seesaw. <laughs> a fucking seesaw. Oh my god. God, Dragon Quest 4. I love you so much. I do, I mean that so... From the bottom of my fart, I really do mean that. Uh, can we get a whack on one of the uh, snaily boys? Probs not. Oh, damn. That. Oh, no, we did. Sweet. Ooh, nice one from Maya. Bum, 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 bum. This that thing had a lot of HP. Okay, so we can go down there, or we can go this way. Oh yes, two more chaps. We only need two more. Are we gonna find them? Find out next time on the next episode. Of no, three seesaws. Oh my lord. Well, we're probably going to get some decent XP for this, but this could be a tough fight. Luckily, they're all in one group, though. So maybe we can get a lucky thwack on them. Let's give that a try. God damn it. Ooh, and they know Blistering Flames, which, as we know, kind of sucks. Chilly Breath, not so much. Flames of Purification definitely hurt more. Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 These things are pretty tough. We are doing no damage to it anymore. There we go. Oh, I didn't actually get that much XP for him. I expected more than that. Aww. Oh well. Alright, uh, so the question is now, which way do I go next? Do I go up, or do I go this way? Ah, uh, this probably just leads to that chest, doesn't it? Oh, we got some incinerators! I think we've seen these before. Oh, critical hit! 355! Bloody hell. That was rather spiffing. How do I... Wait a minute. 
Oh, I've just gone into... Oh, I see. I didn't see that staircase. Okay. Okay. Gone in circles. Two more freaking seesaws. Uh, let's try a zap. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Bosh. Kazap. Yeah, it's, uh, oh. <laughs> if, uh, if you're going to be seeing a lot of my most recent videos as they're uploaded, you're, you're going to be hearing a lot of me going, Oh, it's bloody warm today. Ooh, Maya, level 40. Jolly good. Everyone above level 40 in my main party, I like the sound of that. And some, uh, some pretty nice agility. Alright, how do I get to that shape? It must be this way. Yeah, let's go this way. Encounter rate is pretty high. Too damn high, some would say. Right, Mage, Elena, you focus on that guy. I think we know Maya can one-shot the uh, Periwinkles with a Kafrizzle. As long as it hits, that is. Oh, god damn it, Mage. Ooh, Elena made up for that, though. 371. And great, the Periwinkle resisted it. Shit. Then again, they're not that scary, are they? They ain't too scary. Oh, really, dude? Fine, have that. Every yeah, they, they mustn't have much HP. Okay, go right... down... That's a lot of periwinkles. That is a lot of periwinkers. Let's go for a kazap. Mage, my man. And a kazizzle. And I guess defend. Ah, oh, one survived. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, really? He survived all that? What a dick. Very shellfish of him. Ah. Okay, what do we have? I wouldn't mind another mini medal. Oh no, it's another uh, Kaplunk Bracer. Yay. Yay. Totally worth it. Great. Okay. Uh, can I just run from you guys? Nope. And now we're in trouble. These things hit like a... Abusive stepfather. Which I don't... I've never had, by the way, but you know. Shit, did we fail to run three times in a row? I thought that never happens. Son of a bitch. Great. Oh, I'm, so I'm sorry, Elena. That was my bad. I really should have tried fighting those things. I'm being lazy. Okay, at least we can revive you. Could have been worse. Kyriel could have bit it. There we go. Not a problem. Okay. Whoops. Uh, so, you're right, this way. Yep, okay. We're back on track. Ooh! What? What? Terminators. <laughs> oh, great. Great. Love it. Love it. I am a fan. Yes. All the things. Let's do this. Oh yes. Yeah, Elena, I mean Elena still gets good crits, doesn't she? So I'm I'm perfectly fine with this. Cause we did have the Falcon Knife earrings for a freaking long time, didn't we? Oh, three of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, I'll see you in a second, chaps. Dear God, for things that big, the seesaws have a really high evasion rate for some reason. Which makes them, I mean, as well as the high HP, even longer to kill, but, um... 
Level 41 for Mage. Jolly good. Some good HP, good MP. Pretty good strength as well. Nice. Sweet. Okay, how much longer is this dungeon going to go on for? A bit longer yet, it seems. Whoa. Well, I see a chest there. That's nice and easy to grab. Oh, great. Oh, game, why you do this to me? It's only a mimic, though. They're pretty weak. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. And we poisoned it, too. Ha! Shit. Oh, no, don't keep on... Okay, he ran out of... He, can... he only had one... enough MP for one whack spell. Wow. Good. Good riddance. And again. Oh, he can never get anything. That makes me so sad. Alright, so, a bit of a snakes and ladders game going on here. What are we... We wanna, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, chest. Ooh, a recovery ring. Have we got one of those before? Uh, restore some of the wearer's HP with each and every step. Oh, okay, we may have had this before, I don't know. Uh... Yeah, we'll, um... Probably not give that to anyone, honestly. I just don't want to miss anything. Whoa! Hijinks! Oh my god, hijinks! No way! Dude, also, great enemy design. The genie on the, on the puff of smoke, the cloud or whatever, that's awesome, but hijinks! <laughs> and three of them, okay. Lots of hijinks. Let's uh, let's try a kazap and a kazizzle and a thwack. Again, probably won't work though. Oh, that's good damage. Yes, nearly got all of them. Nearly got all of them. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. It's just, it's such a, a weird mishmash of different looking areas all connected to each other somehow. It's like different dimensions or something. It's creeping me out. How do I get to that chair? Oh my god. You know what this reminds me of? The fucking Temple of the Ancients. FF7. It's a gleaming gold statue of a dragon. Yay, good for that. Good for that dragon. Uh... more chests to get. Oh my god, another new enemy? A toga? <laughs> it's fucking to- oh my god. Oh my god, a fucking toga. <laughs> oh shit, and he's got a very nasty looking whip. Let's uh, try and kill him fast, shall we? Oh, critical, yes. All the yes. You know, I'm spoiled for choice on what enemy to include on my thumbnails. I really am. We've encountered so many new ones yet again. Oh, not a Pandora's box, dude. Oh, with its old bubblegum tongue. Okay. Oh, watch out. It's probably going to cast Whack on us or something. I'm going to cast Kabuff just in case. And thankfully, Maya was uh, resistant. Jolly good. Oh yeah, these things have a lot of HP. No, oh my god, thank you. Ah, uh, you see, he's probably running out of MP as well, but he's using drain magic, so... He can carry on spamming whack like a bastard, and oh boy. Thankfully, we all dodged that. How much HP does it have? A fuck ton, apparently. There we go. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.